Hey there guys, it's Jason Master and welcome back to part 6 of Let's Build a Modern Beach House in The Sims 3. If you like Sims 3 houses, please remember to thumbs this video up, it really does help me out and it really encourages me to make more of these builds for you. I have done quite a bit with the interior design for this episode and we will also go back later and fix some of the backyards, landscaping objects and just sort of the layout of the backyard. I got lots of comments from people saying that they thought the backyard was quite cluttered, which I agreed with. I thought we I tried putting in lots and lots of useful objects and it was getting a bit cramped. So what I do at the end of this part is I go back and fix some of the landscaping objects and I move the gazebo a bit, remove some of the objects and just really make it more practical. So what we're doing at the moment is we're going to be creating the kitchen. I went with a light wood colour, which is the same as most of the doors of this uh, lot. I actually really like how this kitchen turned out. I go with quite a beautiful re reflective floor tile for the flooring. You'll get to see that in just a sec, so let's just talk about what we're doing at the moment. So I decided the cupboards were illuminated quite a lot, so I went with more of a cream coloured stone texture. And of course I put in the fireplace, the wood fire oven from the Sims 3 store, one of my favourite premium content objects. And I really like the uh, cupboards across the back wall as well. I've used these little um, pots and pans decor items just to um, sort of surround the uh, wood fire stove. I thought since it's sort of an Italian themed uh, kitchen meets Italian meets modern themed kitchen, I thought it looked really nice and personally from having relatives who are Italian and being partly Italian myself, I thought um, when I think of uh, going into an Italian kitchen, I think pots and pans everywhere. So here I was thinking about adding like sort of little island counter where we can have a little bit of a bar stool where Sims can sit to eat. I was trying to go with this modern sort of table design which um, was going to allow Sims to sit around it. I decided I didn't really leave much room for anything else and I thought it would be better to keep the dining table separately so I end up removing that in the future. What um, I had a, quite a bit of problem with this island counter. I was going to go with a move objects look, but then when I was moving around, um, every uh, sort of clip that I did, uh, what would happen is you'd see the uh, sort of counter seeping through each other, and it just didn't look very nice. So um, in about 10 seconds or so, what we'll do is we'll go back and delete some of those counters and just keep it normal. So I ended up turning off move objects and just making it simple. So I moved some of the bar stools back. We're gonna recolor them in just a second. I think this kitchen is quite nice for just a small family. Um, it's got one stove, a fridge, microwave, an espresso maker, three bar stools, and a six piece dining set. So there's gonna be about three or four bedrooms in this house. I am not quite sure yet because I've only built one so far. But um, it will definitely have a, this house will definitely be able to fit the maximum number of sims that you can have in your game, or anywhere in between. So you can put one bachelor sim in this house, and then you can invite all his friends over and they can stay over here for a while if they want. So I was gonna go with this modern white table. I think I keep that. And then I retexture the chairs. Since I have moved objects off, uh, it wasn't letting me place the chairs there, so I actually moved the counters forward a little bit more. And then it just makes the whole room seem larger because now I can fit in the dining table as well. So I decided to go with this dark wood, uh, sort of red coloured uh, flooring, which um, actually looks very nice in the end. Um, I wanted to go with something that really stood out, contrasts with the light wood and the white sort of cushions of the chairs. So then I went with a tile design for the kitchen. So I decided to go with a black design again, just trying to contrast the colours just to really draw your attention to the nice white cupboards. And um, putting them under the counters of course. Here's a nice little rug, put another modern rug in the kitchen thought it stood out well again just really trying to uh, have lots of things to draw detail to so when your sims walk in and you're playing the game you think and look to yourself like wow this is a really 
really modern kitchen. So I go with a black uh, fabric wallpaper for most of the room and then I put tiles just in the kitchen area. So again, this is quite a dark room, but I've used lots of modern little lights just to illuminate the house really well. So I like the white uh, sort of outlines of the tiles and also the white uh, textures just at the bottom and the top. It sort of, again, contrasts the color. So that was what I was going for with this room. Just really, really variant colors. So I was gonna try and put a dishwasher in there. It didn't seem to work. Decided to put in a rubbish bin and a sink instead. Here, I was going to add like modern cupboards just to sort of create an overhanging cupboard section, but I decided I wanted to keep the view out of the window just because you could see the plants in the pool and I thought that would look very pretty if you were in this house. It would also be very impressive if you're entertaining, just looking out to that beautiful pool and garden, putting in some nice paintings and land, uh, not landscaping, some uh, decor items just to accent the theme, make it seem really homey. I was gonna go with a calendar design, but then I said I'd already gone with one in the teen's bedroom. So I went with this sort of unique uh, up and down wall painting design. Uh, here is the roofing design of the kitchen. So I go with mostly a black theme for the uh, room. And then eventually I add in this nice wooden light wood pattern under the, count, uh, under the cabinets and then also uh, just one square out. I thought it looked modern and again it sort of matched the theme. Here is a uh, time lapse video of me building the sort of man cave entertainment area. I actually lost the original film of this so I decided to build it like this. I thought it looked fine. So here I've just added a nice wooden decking area, carpet to the bottom, it's got a reading table. Uh, bookcase uh, and then it's also got the pool table and it's got the beer pong table. So here is me fixing up the backyard area. So I just moved the uh, gazebo back a little bit. I uh, deleted some of the, uh, I deleted the dance floor area and then I just put the roof back. So it's now three squares back and as you can see in the little gap next to the house there's actually quite a large amount of room to get through there now. Um, I think I moved the DJ, DJ table a little bit more forward. If not, I should do that in the next part. Um, and then I'm just adding uh, just some color design just to the sort of uh, foundation level of the roof just to make it all match again. So moving the chairs and table just away just so you have more room for your sims to walk. I decided to delete the cow plant, didn't think it was really necessary. So here are just some screenshots of the house. So this is the man cave area, um, a sort of just entertainment area with pool table, beer pong table, nice relaxing seating area. It's just a room, it sort of feels like a basement but it's on the first floor. You just invite your friends over and just play some games. It's also a little bit of a study area, just something that seems really quiet and quite rustic. I've used the Plants vs Zombies wallpaper design. I actually really like the roofing design of this room. I've used some nice black colors, white uh, roofing, which match the wallpapers, and of course the brown wood tone as well. Here is the black and cream colored kitchen. You'll see how much the uh, walls really stand out with the uh, contrasting cabinets. Here is the dining area. It's just quite simple with a nice little flower on top. Again, I really love these reflective floors. They just really add to the theme of the house. Here is the backyard, just fixing it up a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please remember to give this a thumbs up and watch the other parts. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.